Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. Today I'm going to present you a very special knife. Now just take a closer look to the handle. A little magic trick. And there it is. How cool is that? Right, without further ado, let's change perspectives and take a closer look to this knife. This knife was made by Jacques Jobin, a Canadian knife maker, and I have already talked about him in a previous video when I presented this knife. And it actually was one of my very first knife reviews, so if you're interested to know more about this one, just go and check my first videos. Basically, I explained that, for me, he's one of the fathers of art knives. He used it to make, like, probably 20, 30 years ago, absolutely crazy knives that had um, airship shapes, lightsabers, this kind of influence, very modern futuristic knives uh, that are absolutely crazy, like nobody makes these anymore and it's a shame, but yeah, I understand it's difficult to find the clients for this kind of knife, but anyway, really an amazing maker and he has been a great influence for a lot of young makers. So let's take a closer look to this particular knife. Blade length on this is 10 centimeters for a total length of 21 centimeters. So it's a fixed blade made of Damascus steel and it's the Alabama Rattler pattern from Alabama Damascus. Um, I must admit I didn't know about them at all. So I just had a look on Google and I had a few information about this particular uh, Damascus steel. It's made of 416 layers of steel and the steel used are 5160 steel, 23E, 52100, and 15N20. The only one I'm familiar with is uh, 15N20 steel, which is very often used in Damascus steels. And yeah, all I can say is basically it's a carbon Damascus steel. Although, I think it looks a bit like uh, stainless Damascus. It's quite shiny and has quite a lot of contrast to it, so yeah. really looks like a stainless Damascus steel. And that's probably because he polishes it after etching. So, um, we've got little uh, titanium dots there that are inlaid in the steel which I think look pretty cool. They are blue. I mean, blue, purple, yellow-ish, anodized. You've got two other little uh, dots there. Kind of jimping there and on the back, although it's really more for the look of it, in my opinion. Here you've got some kind of file work And there it looks a bit like a, an airship material shield, this kind of thing, which looks very uh, modern and futuristic. Oh, by the way, there is another titanium dot right there that I had not seen. Very, very nice work. Everything is nicely rounded. You've got a little swedge there on top of the blade nicely rounded too hollow grind we've got his signature on both sides and that's something he usually does on all his knives and actually you can definitely uh, recognize his style although he makes very different knives you know they have this kind of same uh, or similar blade aesthetic to it although again uh, the blade shapes are very different yeah there is something similar to them which is really cool again even in the the details right there so let's take a closer look to this handle which is definitely uh, the the main feature of this knife the idea in the beginning was to be able to to apply 
a material to the blade without having any showing screws. And he ended up with a system that allowed him to do that. So basically these are held by magnets. And he made this uh, little horn tool just to be able to take this handle off. Sorry, not very easy to do behind a camera. But yeah, as you can see, the handle is held by magnets and they are uh, neodymium magnets, so quite powerful. So once this thing is in place, it's not moving at all and there is no chance for the scale to come off without you really trying to take it off. So yeah, here we've got a stingray handle. It's actually a, a wooden piece that is covered with stingray. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Really love this material. And there you can guess where the magnets are. Really, really cool system. And this system also uh, gives the opportunity to have different scales that are interchangeable, which I think is really, really cool. I'm just gonna put these in to show you. In just a few seconds, uh, you can completely change the style of the knife. And there it looks a lot more modern. Uh, it really looks like a different knife, but yeah, just changed the scale. I just love the idea. It's really, really cool. Here, we've got a, a titanium piece that is anodized to a, I'd say mainly blue color, but with some purple, um, reflections and uh, mother of pearl which is a very unusual association like mother of pearl and titanium you don't see them very often associated one is very traditional the other one is very modern so yeah but i think it it looks really nice the knife also comes with a beautiful stingray sheath like that that completely protects the knife you could put a lanyard there uh, yeah, really, really beautiful. Also made by Jacques himself. He's really good at making uh, sheaths. So that's a cool touch and it matches perfectly well. The Stingray handles. So that's it guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. As usual, please leave a like if you did. Don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below what you think about the knife. I really love reading your comments and I answer to everybody. So. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye. This is really cool. The extra handle can actually make a really nice paperweight. What do you think guys?